Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, and I'm here for a video about the band Demon Hunter. Now, this is actually a video idea that I've recently thought about doing because uh, I got this idea from uh, something that I saw in my recommendation feed where someone goes over the worst songs from each album from a certain band, and I thought that this would be a very good idea for a uh, video. Now, I'm not sure how often I'll do these type of videos. Uh, maybe I'll do one for other bands in the near future, but I especially had to do one for Demon Hunter since Demon Hunter is a band that does mean a lot to me. Uh, I would say that they are one of my favorite bands in metalcore. Uh, very underrated band, I'd say. I mean, if you like metalcore and haven't heard of these guys or haven't listened to them, do yourself a favor and check them out. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to go over... The Demon Hunter albums, and in my opinion, let me let you guys know what I think is the worst song from each album. So, we of course begin with the debut album. Now with this one, it's a bit of a tough call because with this album, there's no bad songs on here. Alright, there's no bad songs from this album. But if you had to make me choose, it would definitely be one of the songs in the second half of the album. Now, I would include the interlude that's on here, uh, but with these types of videos, we're not going to include interludes, because to me that's a little unfair and kind of, um, I don't know, it's just not as uh, challenging, I guess, you know, because obviously the one interlude on here would take the cake as the weakest, but I just want to go over the actual songs, of course. But if I were to choose my least favorite song on the album... I would have to go with A Broken Upper Hand. And even with that said, that, that song is pretty good. Like I said, there's no bad song from this album, okay? But for me, that would take the cake as the weakest on the album, but still not bad. So A Broken Upper Hand. Then we got Summer of Darkness. Now with this album, it's a little easier for me to choose the worst song since I don't really like this album as much as the debut. Um, I actually think the debut is a lot better than Summer of Darkness. I know that's not a very uh, popular opinion in the Demon Hunter fan base, but to me this album has a lot more filler to it. Some songs that are just kind of mediocre, but I would say that my least favorite song on here overall would have to be the latest and the last, which is the closing track. I've never really been that big of a fan of this one. It is kind of just standard metalcore, and there's really just nothing special about it. So, yeah, and I think it's maybe their weakest closing track. I'm not sure. But never really been the biggest fan of that one, so the latest and the last. Next, we got The Triptych, which is actually one of my personal favorite Demon Hunter albums. This one is a bit of a tough call as well because... With this album, once again, there's no bad songs on here. There's no bad songs, but I would say that if I had to choose a least favorite, I would choose The Science of Lies. Yes, I even prefer the one cover song that's on here. Um, the Science of Lies, to me, it's not bad, but it just kind of pales in comparison to everything else that's on the album. It's... um. You know, it's kind of an interesting song, but I don't know. It's always never been one of my favorites, but it's not bad. So, But it has to um, be my least favorite on the album. So The Science of Lies. And then we got Storm the Gates, which um, this album, I think it's also hard to choose a, a least favorite or a worst song, in my opinion. But... I don't know. It would once again. It would definitely be one of the uh, songs in the second half of the album. I would have to say that my least favorite would have to be "I Am You." Not a bad song. All right, it's not a bad song, but it is my least favorite on the album. Um, like with the "Science of Lies" from the Triptych. This song, "I Am You," is not bad, but it just kind of pales in comparison to everything else that's on the album. I feel like some people might have chosen Fiction Kingdom as uh, as their least favorite, but I actually really like that song, so 
IMU just, it, it's got to be the weakest for me. And it's definitely the song that I return to the least from this album. So, IMU. Next, we got The World is a Thorn. And this album is also kind of easy picking a least favorite. Although, at the same time, it kind of isn't since this uh, definitely has uh, some material that I'm not a fan of. This is one of my least favorite Demon Hunter albums, but it's still not bad. But if you had to make me choose a least favorite or the worst song from this album, I would probably have to go with Shallow Water. My main issue with this song is the riffs. The ri I don't know what it is about the guitar riffs in this song that it's just very uh, irritating to listen to. It's like got this like high-pitched uh, guitar riff. It's just, no. It's very intolerable. I can't stand that part of the song. And also the uh, the vocals. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's some vocal effects that are used in this song. I'm not a big fan of it, though. I think it is one of the worst Demon Hunter songs, to be honest. I'm just not a big fan of it. Um, this album... And the second half definitely loses a little bit of steam. But when they get to this song, it's like, wow, what a downfall. Shallow Water, not a very good song. So that's my pick for this album, The World is a Thorn. Next, we got True Defiance. And this is one of my favorite Demon Hunter albums. And I think it's one of their best. But this song... There's also not a bad song from this album. Uh, but I think picking my least favorite is kind of easy. Even though I don't think any of the songs are bad. There is an instrumental on here. Now, once again, I would choose that one as the weakest. But we're not going to include interludes or instrumentals. Because I, I really want to be fair uh, with, this, uh, with this segment and with this list, of course. You know, and trying to make it a little challenging just by picking the actual songs with lyrical content, that is. So if I had to choose a least favorite, I would go with Resistance. Not a bad song, but just not as good as all the other ones on here. That's all. I don't really have much to complain about with this one. It's just, you know, it's just, again, not as good as the other stuff that's on this album. So Resistance... Next, we got Extremist, and this is also one that's kind of hard to choose since, you know, I there's not really much I can complain about with this album as well. But with this album, Extremist, I would have to go with one last song. This might be a rather surprising pick. Now, I feel like some people might have chose maybe In Time or Beyond Me, um you know, or a song like that, but I actually really like those songs. But with one last song, I guess my main issue with this song is it is just kind of standard metalcore in a way. There's not really much that really grabs my attention regarding this song. I, I don't really re uh, return to this one much. It's definitely one of those Demon Hunter songs that I don't really return to. It's like uh, kind of a take it or leave it kind of song. But it's not terrible though. But I would say it's maybe my least favorite on the album. So one last song. Okay, so next we got the Divisive album, Outlive. And this one is actually kind of tough considering that there's um, quite a few songs that I'm not really a big fan of. But... With this album, I would have to go with The End. I think The End is probably the weakest song on the album. Uh, now, I think some people might have chosen uh, Half is Dead or maybe even One Less. Now, those songs are kind of meh as well, but The End, I don't know what it is about this song. I think it just has this, uh, this energy that just doesn't work for them, especially with the synths that are used in this song. Um, that's a common complaint that I have heard about this song. It's kind of just a mediocre, like, uh, motivational sounding song or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if motivational is the right word, but you know what I mean. It kind of has that feeling to it. This 
upbeat uh, feeling to it that's just kind of mediocre. The riffing in this song is nothing to write home about either. It's like the riffs like sound too messy or something. I don't know what it is about it, but I don't know. The end, it's got to be my pick. Next, we got War. Now, this album, I mean, it's a really good album. Definitely a big improvement from Outlive, but this one's kind of easy for me because there is actually only one song that I'm not that crazy about on here, and that is Unbound. I think Unbound is easily the weakest track on this album. Now, my main complaint with this song is... I kind of have a similar complaint to this song, like I do with one last song. This song is just kind of standard metalcore. The song kind of sounds like an All That Remains song. Now, I kind of like All That Remains, but... I mean, let All That Remains be All That Remains. Let Demon Hunter be Demon Hunter. Now, this still does sound like a Demon Hunter song, but... It's just nothing, uh, it's just nothing that unique. Like, it's not attention-grabbing or anything. But it's not terrible, though, but it would be my least favorite on the album. I also hate when Ryan Clark repeats, Unbound, just constantly. And then at the end, no chains. It's just really, you, you can't think of anything uh, to... Uh, as far as lyrics go, you can't think of anything to fill that space up, you know? Like, they they could have, like, added something unique, you know? But I'm just not that big of a fan of it. Now, I know a lot of people do like this song. That's fine. I mean, I can understand, but it's just not for me. So, Unbound. Finally, we got Peace. And with this album, it is kind of easy for me because... This album does have, in my opinion, the worst Demon Hunter song. This album does. I in my, I think this has their worst song. That song is Two Ways. So you know that's got to be my pick for Peace. Two Ways, not a big fan of it. Never have been a big fan of it. Such a skippable track that I just, I'm not that crazy about. I just don't like the riffs and how the riffs, um... Are just like, like it sounds like uh, Ryan and the riffs just don't really match in the song. Like the chemistry between the instrumentation and the vocals is not very well presented. It's just not that good. And I don't. I, I hate the way uh, Ryan Clark delivers the line two ways. Like two ways, two way. I mean, it's not that good to be honest. And it's just kind of bland. The breakdown. Don't even get me started on the breakdown, all right? It's got one of the worst breakdowns I've ever heard. I mean, this is the worst Demon Hunter song, in my opinion. Uh, this album also has other tracks that I'm not that big of a fan of, like Bet My Life. Bet My Life is also a garbage song, but it's not as bad as Two Ways, so Two Ways has to be my pick for peace. So, there you have it. That is my uh, list of the worst Demon Hunter song from each album. Let me know what you think. I know this might be a little controversial for some people. Some people might say, hey, Zach, I really like that song that you mentioned or whatever, but that's totally fine. You can like these songs if you want. This is subjective, all right? It's just my opinion, what I think is the worst song from each album. If you agree with my opinion, that's great, but if you don't, that's cool too. So let me know your thoughts, and also let me know what Demon Hunter songs do you think are their worst? Uh, what are some Demon Hunter songs that you just personally dislike? So let me know what you guys think of my picks for the worst song on each album as well. So on that note, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and take care.